Hello, grade 9. Today, we're going to start a new chapter, chapter 5, Nutrition and Health, Activity 2, Food Ration. So please open your books on page 94. We actually eat food to satisfy the needs of our body, but we should consume enough and not excessive quantity of all varied types of food. So we should follow a balanced diet, since an unbalanced diet can lead to numerous nutritional disease. For that, the objectives of our activity today are, first, to define the food ration, second, to classify food into different groups, third, to determine the factors that affect the food ration. So what is food ration? Food ration is the quantity of varied food that an individual must consume during 24 hours to cover the needs in energy and in matter. So why does the body need energy and matter? As we said that food should satisfy two needs a need in energy and a need in matter. Need in energy. What for? The energy provided by food ensures the continuity of vital functions of the body, just like the cardiac activity, the respiratory activity, so the heart cannot work without energy. And also, other functions in the body like muscular activity, digestion, immunity also need energy. And where do we get this energy from? Of course, from food. But also, the food should satisfy another need, which is the need in matter. So we eat also to get the necessary matter we need. Why do we need matter? For example, we need materials like proteins because proteins are building up molecules. That means they build up our muscles, our bones, our cells. Also, we need to drink water. What for? Because by drinking water, this permits to compensate the water losses. Because our body loses water through respiration, urination, uh, sweating. Let's classify food. Humans eat different kinds of food. These kinds, they vary with the country, with the region, with the family. Despite its diversity, food is in general classified according to its chemical composition as well as according to its function. According to chemical composition, we can divide food into six, six groups, just like we saw previously in the chapter of digestion. These groups are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, water, mineral salts, and vitamins. And according to its function, food is divided into three major groups building food, energy food, and functional food. What is building food? Look at the pictures below, please. The first picture, it shows food rich in proteins, just like milk, chicken, eggs, fish. We call proteins building food because proteins build up our cells, our bones, our muscles, this is the first group. The second group consists of food rich in carbohydrates and fats. We call them energy food because they provide the body with a high amount of energy. Actually, carbohydrates are the first source of energy. In case the body lacks carbohydrates, fats also are a good source of energy. The third group corresponds to food rich in water, minerals, and vitamin, and we call them functional food. Example, they maintain the 
strength of our bones and the proper functioning of the body. Let's move now to the third objective in this activity, which is the factors that affect the food ration. The needs in energy and matter, or the food ration, actually change with age, physical activity, sex of the individual, physiological state, and also with climate. Let's start with the first factor, which is age. If you look at the graph, you see that with age, the needs for lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates increase actually between age 0 and 16 years old. However, above 16 years old, you see that the needs for these materials decrease. So we can say that the food ration, it varies with age. It increases during childhood and during adolescence between 0 and 16 years old. However, after that, it decreases. Another factor is the sex. Whether it's a man or it's a woman, actually, the energy needs are higher in men especially that men possess, possess uh, more blood vessels, bigger organs, bigger muscles, and consequently, their energy needs are higher. What about the climate? The energy needs increase in hot or cold weather, so they vary with the climate since the body consumes energy to maintain the body temperature of 37 degree C. Also, the physical activity affects the food ration. How? Look at the opposite figure, please. The energy needs, for example, when sitting at work, correspond to 350 kilojoules per hour. These needs increase to 1,200 for someone who's walking, and they increase more and more to 1,400 for someone who is cycling, and also more for someone who's running to 3,000, which means that the needs for energy, also they vary with the type of physical activity that is performed and it increases more and more with a stronger physical activity. Like when running, it's much greater than when cycling. Another important factor that affects the food ration is the physiological state of the individual, like when a woman is pregnant. So, Naturally, the energy needs increase during pregnancy and also increase during breastfeeding since the woman needs to provide uh, the fetus when she's pregnant with the necessary energy and necessary material needed uh, for his development, as well as when she's uh, breastfeeding her uh, baby she needs to provide this baby with necessary uh, uh, materials that he needs to uh, grow up. To sum up, you must know that a food ration is the food that an individual must consume during 24 hours to cover the needs and energy and the needs in matter. Why do we need energy and matter? We need energy to ensure the continuity of our functions in the body, and we need matter because carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins are necessary materials for the body since they are a source of energy and also they have a high nutritive value. 
Also, there are many factors that affect the body needs and energy. These factors are age, sex, climate, physiological state, as well as the physical activity. Dear grade 9 students, this is the end of activity 2. Thank you for your attention.